The first thing is equality. The internet is available to all and nobody should have a stronger or weaker position vis-a-vis -vis others in the internet ecosystem. That is why the multi-stakeholder approach is so important for us because it does recognise the equal role that every member of the constituency plays and the interest that all individual users have as well as the companies, the providers of services and the technicians who make the internet actually work. So that equal approach, that open to all uh, equality of access in a multi-stakeholder environment is actually the way of ensuring that the internet stays open. In the contemporary environment where we have geopolitical tensions, we have trade tensions, good old-fashioned competition in the business sense, we have to make sure that certain rules are respected, rules of engagement, that there is a sharing of open standards, uh, and also, of course, that there is a respect for the dignity of the human being uh, and for, for, for minimum values uh, as reflected in the UN Charter. So that's something which in the European Union we've pushed for and we know that very many other countries are doing the same thing. But there's one point I mentioned which I'd really like to emphasise is the open nature of the internet can actually be preserved if we deal with open source software, even open source hardware, which means that nobody can actually gain control of the internet simply because what was originally a good invention becomes something that everyone else has to pay for just to use the internet.